Let's learn how to customize this theme. For this tutorial, I'm gonna replicate this website here at cardhq.co to this site. So I'm gonna take all the data from here and bring it over here. So to customize this theme, return to your WordPress admin panel. Under Appearance, click on Customize. This is the WordPress customizer. So first, let's customize this slider here. To do that, click on the pencil and you will see this header slider section. Let's go to it one by one. Slider speed. The slider speed is actually the speed of how long each slide would last on the page. So now it's set at 4000 milliseconds, which is actually 4 seconds. If you reduce this speed to say 1 second, this, you see that it basically speeds up. Now you could adjust this. Let's slow it down to say 6 seconds. So this text stays longer. You could also stop the sliding by checking here. You can see that this text doesn't slide anymore, only the background. Let's just stop the sliding for now and let's just go down. And this is the first image for your first slide. So we could actually remove it and change the image. Say we're just going to remove it and change it to a different image. Let's just use the image that we had previously. This one. Click Choose Image. Once we have changed that image, we notice that that image here is not appearing over on the preview here. Well, sometimes that happens on some teams. But what we could do without publishing this new team on our live site is we could click on this gear here and save these changes. And then we will have a preview link over here. What we could do is just go ahead and click on this link here and see a preview of it as how it would look like on our live website. As you can see, the image has appeared. So now let's go down to the next thing to change, the title for the first slide. The title that we want is this. So I'm just going to highlight this and copy it, bring it over here, and paste it. So I could add a subtitle if I want to. I could just say available on Google Play and App Store. Then I can save it and return to this page and preview it. That's how it looks like. Well, the text looks a little bit Big, but we could always change it later. Then let's go down to the second slide. Let's go ahead and change it by, by uploading a new file. Let's try this image. Click Choose Image and click Save and preview. There you have it. Next, we could always add more images, third image, fourth image, fifth, and etc. 
Then we need to change this button here. Click to begin. You could always put a link here for where you want the user to go when they click on that button. And you could put a text for the button. Return here. How about we just change it to this? Why are we doing this? Return here. Change this text to why are we doing this? And immediately it appears here. And the link, we could always change the link as well. Return here. If you click on this button, you go down to this area. So we're just going to change it down. When you click on this button, it goes down here. So in that case, we're just going to maintain that link as it is here. And remember to click save. Then let's preview it. Good. For this setting here, slider mobile behavior, we're just going to leave it as responsive. Responsive means that the sliding behavior will be responsive according to the screen size of the user. Some user may be using an iPad or a mobile phone with a different screen size. So let's just leave it to responsive. If you're happy with this, you can always publish it by selecting publish. But for now, we're just going to leave it. If you click on this back button here to return to the header area, you could further adjust this area. You could change the type of the header. You could make it as a full screen slider, like what we have now, or you could change it to just a static image. Like this. This is a static image that will constantly appear on your main page. You could even convert it to a video. Or you could choose not to have a header by selecting this one. Like this. Then if you go down further, Site Header Type, select the header type for all pages except the front page. So this is where you select the header for pages, not the front page, such as your post page, your pages, your contact us page, about us page, and etc. For instance, is this page a post page? You can see that the header type is actually a static image. As selected here, you could change it to a full screen slider or no heading. Click save, refresh, and the heading disappears. I would definitely recommend no header for your header type except for your front page. On the header area here, you could also change your menu style. Underneath here, click on menu style. Then you can choose a menu that is sticky or static. Sticky means the menu actually sticks and floats as you scroll. While well, static actually will not float. As you see that the menu disappears. You could also have a menu that's inline or centered. If you choose centered, it becomes like this.